contribution to the health and enjoyment of mankind has been the horse. No truer words have ever been uttered than those of Confucius, or some other philosopher, who said the outside of a horse is good for the inside of a man. Riding is perhaps one of the most beneficial forms of exercise. The gentle rocking action of the horse acts as an invigorating tonic to those vital organs, the heart and the liver. Now in the canter, it's the gentle uh, massage of the liver. Whoa! 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 Of course, uh, this gives you just a rough idea of its beneficial qualities. And now we come to the first essentials of riding. The proper costume. Not yet. The greatest care should be taken in the cut of, um, oh, all right, come on. The cut of one's riding habit. In order to give one that well-groomed appearance, right down to his fingertips. The hat should be conservative in design, fit snugly, and protect one's head. The boots should be comfortable and present the neat appearance. The riding coat should be divided uh, so as to drape neatly over the uh, horse. And then, of course, the horse itself is an integral part. <laughs> yes, the horse, the servant of mankind, mm -hmm. the aristocrat of the animal kingdom, noble, faithful, obedient, and kind, most magnificent of all dumb animals. Dumb! <laughs> And now we come to the approach. Always approach the horse with a confident attitude. Remember, man is the master. The next step is to win the confidence of the horse. This is readily accomplished by offering him a carrot as an overture of friendship. Upon the next important phase, how to mount. 
For the beginner, we might suggest the step ladder or mounting block. Perhaps the most popular method is the horizontal or lateral approach, known as the up and over. <laughs> now that we have mastered this method, we may safely discard the mounting block and learn to use the stirrup. As you probably know, there is a right and a wrong side for mounting the horse. The right side happens to be the wrong side. This leaves us the left side, which is right. Therefore, since the left is right and the right uh, wrong, we begin by placing the left foot, that's the right foot, in the left stirrup, which is right being the left foot, since the right would be wrong. Now, this is important enough to bear repeating. Remember that since the right is always wrong, the left has to be right. All right. Now, this happens to be the wrong side, which uh, sometimes leads to slight difficulties. And now, for a few tips on the correct form of mounting one's horse. Swinging the leg in a graceful arc, raise it high above the horse, thus. <coughs> uh, then drop lightly into the saddle. All well-trained saddle horses have gates. First, the trot. Note that the motion of our steed is similar to that of a rocking chair. Now, the man, moving in perfect unison, as if horse and rider were one. And now, together. This is known as rising to the trot, or posting. Only the magic of the slow-motion camera can do justice to the grace and beauty of this spectacle. As man and beast responding simultaneously to the gentle undulation, glide through space with a wave-like motion of a summer sea caressed by a gentle zephyr. Of the art of riding, we take to the herd. All horses love to jump. Uh, sometimes a horse may be just a bit obstinate. Uh, then a light touch of the spurs may be necessary. I'm glad this came up. Uh, when you have fallen from a horse, lie quietly. Remember, a horse will never step on a fallen rider. the thrill of thrills. In all the world, there's no sensation like this. The wind in your face, the scent of autumn in your nostrils, the staccato feet of hoofs on crisp earth as man and animal united in concerted effort. Faster and faster we go, barely tingling with excitement. A picture of power and grace as the thundering hoofs of the noble beast carry him straight as an arrow to its mark. And now, the jump! Stop! We'll go back and try it out again. Whoa! 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 And now, as the late afternoon sun slowly fades over the distant hills, reluctantly, we turn our footsteps homeward. The experienced horseman always walks his horse to the stable. Stable? <laughs> The outside of a horse is good for the inside of a man.
has always been man's way of expressing his emotions. He danced to bring the rains. He danced to frighten evil spirits. To bring in his crops. Tribal tales were told with the slightest movement of the hands. The dance has always had its romantic aspects. Even today, dancing is still enjoyed by many. But there are those who have become so inhibited, they no longer have the ability or instinct to dance away their cares. Come on, George. Let's dance. Mm -mm. Are you forced to offer some feeble excuse for not dancing? Are you left holding the bags and stuck with the check while others enjoy themselves? Do you have two left feet? Of course. Do you feel like a wallflower alone in a world of laughter and dancing feet? Well, you can learn to dance. Oh, good. Dancing is as easy as one, two, three, and A, B, C. Example. A, being the right foot, is placed at numeral one. B, the left foot, at numeral two. Now, C equals motion, therefore A, or the right foot, if the student is a lady, or B, the left foot, if you're a man, drives to numeral three. Logically, of course, the right foot follows the left and vice versa into the simple patterns that follow. Thus, we find in this simple design the basis for the dance. It's merely a matter of following the diagrams. seems to tire, suggest some fresh air. For sitting out a dance on a moonlit terrace can be a most delightful part of your evening. Ouch! And remember, always be the gentleman. But with the ice broken, on with the dance. you can attend an accredited dancing school and master a dance for every occasion. yourself a past master of the dance. You graduate. Relaxed and confident, you are ready for the final test. You're going dancing. Your personality has changed. You're sure of yourself. A suave sophisticate, eager to display your Terpsichorean technique. When the music starts, Oh! 
intricate grace of the modern ballroom dance is a true reflection of our culture. From primitive man to modern man, man, you've come a long way in only 10,000 years. Bien, me ha un experimento de la de ripresa da video utilizzando una lente pluniforme sopra il la blog di Sony per emulare per emulare vagamente il sistema NHK della giapponese la cosa giapponese che ha realizzato un sperimentale una televisione autostereoscopica usando un occhio di mosca davanti dietro la lente e prima dell'elemento di ripresa della telecamera di ripresa invece questo sistema ci accontentiamo di usare i due obiettivi della bloghi sonni su, davanti ai quali non si possono lente per uniforme. Vi saluto. Profondità con la lente per i forme davanti aumenta qua aumenta la visione migliore la visione della blocchi sonni la variazione è una lente pluniforme posta sopra la blocchi sonni e un effetto leggermente migliore alternativa alla, alla lente questo dovrebbe emulare insieme a NHK giapponese di televisione stereoscopica anziché una lente a occhi di mosca e mi semplicemente su semplicemente le obiettivi della blocchi. Vi saluto.